Hey everyone, it's Amador. So I just dropped off Fifi at the groomers and I was driving home and I was thinking, well, I should post like a random video or something today. And I was thinking about the video I saw the other day. Uh, it's Christina95901. And I think it was Miss Cooper that was also showing one. It's uh, Show Us Your Horde Vault. And it was after I did my D-stash and then I showed this printer, uh, this A4 pad and this 8x8 pad. And I, was, and I asked people what they would be, you know, what they would pay for it. And it's like... The responses I got weren't all that great. So I figured for that much, I might as well just keep it in my hard bond. Because people paid more for other stuff that wasn't even um, discontinued. So, you know, hey, I just might as well keep it. So, but then I was thinking, you know, well, what do I have? What am I going to show, you know? So here's a few things paper-wise. I really don't have embellishments-wise because at the beginning, when I started scrapbooking more than anything, um... I would not really spend on certain things. I wouldn't spend on embellishments when I could make something or, you know, use something else and stuff because I felt it was ridiculous. You'd get, like, three embellishments for, like, $8. I'm like, shut up, you know? Um, seriously, it's ridiculous. And, it's, and now it's getting a little bit better because it's getting better for the crafter um, because there are so many more companies now that are doing it. And, you know, God help those poor little children, you know, whatever foreign countries that are making everything for, like, a penny. But... Um, they're making so many more, and there's much more competition, so the price is going down on certain things, except for, of course, you know, Prima and, you know, whatever, and Graphic 45 are still just, you know, ridiculous, too. But when you find a good dealer, a good, uh, you know, a dealer, right, really nice, well, it is scrapbook crack for us, basically. But when you find, like, a, you know, a good place to get things with, you know, good prices and stuff like that, you kind of, you stick with it because... Uh, it's nuts, you know, some of the stuff, and then you get a paper collection and you want all of the embellishments, because nowadays I do, before I didn't, now I do. Um, so I guess I have a few things paper-wise, these are things that are in the hoard wall that I really haven't touched, and I'm kind of, you know, like, uh Um, and you'll laugh at the end, because it's, you guys will just laugh at the end. So anyway, so I have these, like the, you know, the A4 and the um, 8x8 of the Prima Printry. I also have... This, um, this was at the beginning when I started to, like, graphic 45 and be like, okay, I'll spend that much money. Because before you would have to order it online, and that would suck shipping-wise. But my LSS, um, carried it, and after a while, they started honoring, this is the cool thing, um, I mean, it kind of sucks, I guess, from a small business standpoint. Um, once a week, they will honor one of your, um, big box a scrapbook um, coupons like you know the the Joannes and the Michaels and the Hobby Lobby. Once a week, they would honor um, the, the the coupons, so you can get these paper pads, which they sell for twenty dollars, and they sell so many things. So you can go in there and find everything. But at the same time, I was like, I am not going to pay um, twenty dollars for a paper pad. But it's just so adorable. And this one is the which one is this? Once upon a springtime. It's just gorgeous, and you guys know I love Shabby Chic and everything. It's just like, see, like this one, there's um, one of these I did start to cut up. It's right there. And like I said, for a while I would buy, or even now, um, buy two, one to use and one to put aside in case, you know, for whatever. So I do have two of these. I know that might be excessive, but this one, the little uh, sticker seal hasn't even been touched. So I got two of those in the springtime. And then, you guys know I love my steampunk, and the only time I've used this paper was to make my name sign, and the reason you guys haven't seen my name sign in a while is because I broke it. I was moving my craft room, and I broke it, so I have to reattach this part right here for it. So this is the only time I used it, and the cool thing is, well, not the cool thing, is some people found this at... Tuesday morning, they would find, like, oh, I found, like, ten packs, and oh, I found this. Well, good for you guys, because our Tuesday mornings so Yeah, I probably should not say that. But, um, our Tuesday mornings here really, um, I guess there's a few of them. I don't even go to them. The only time I go to Tuesday morning is when we go to Utah, because trust me, I found way more stuff over in Utah. Um, and the only reason we go to Utah, FYI, uh, Nathan and his parents, um, we go to, um, Cracker Barrel, because there aren't any Cracker Barrels here in Las Vegas, and I love my country food. So anyway, so people, um, I found these on the scrapyard and I might have gotten excessive, but I figured I can't find them, so I might as well get them. So I got a few, you know, and I figured if I'm going to pay the price for the shipping, I might as well, um, just get it, you know. 
So, yeah, so I got a few of those. And, yeah. And the cool thing is also on the strap yard. Oh, I didn't even show this one earlier. Somebody found a pack of those, um, the frames and stuff for that Once Upon a Springtime. And they were selling them by the sheets. And I'm like, um, I would like a few sheets. And, yes, cut them up. You know, punch them out. Because these are all die cut. So they fit in a smaller envelope. Someone also had the steampunk ones. And this one is... This one isn't the steampunk. This is, um... I don't know. Something to do with something. Anyway. Um, um, so they had a few. So I'm like, yeah, send me a few. You know, So I got a few of those. These have been in there. So, yeah. So I got all of those. Now, somebody also had... Somebody stated on that scrapyard, I found a whole pack of these. She found this pack. And I just contacted her immediately. I'm like, um, I want it. She's like, how many sheets? I'm like, I want the whole pack. And it like... It seemed to baffle her, I guess. But I'm like, no, we can't find it here. I want the whole pack. You know, how much for the whole pack? Oh, well, it's, you know, a dollar or whatever. I said, yes, can we multiply? You know, and it was like pulling teeth. So about a week later, she contacted me. Did you still want the whole pack? Well, I originally said that, yes, you know, can just charge me shipping, whatever. I want it. And it's one of those things that's like, you want it and you want it. And, you know, I'm, and I spoil myself on occasions. You know, I work hard and deal with a lot of crap. And a lot of adult children, so, you know, I think I should, you know, treat myself. So, anyway, so I was like, yes, I want it. So, I got the whole pack of that one. I'm like, I'm never going to be able to find it. I'm not cool, like, like, Shireen. Shireen finds everything at Tuesday morning. Whatever, Shireen, hi. Um, and, um, oh, and Marilyn G., she found so many awesome things. Um, she sent me, like, a doggy collection. Love you, Marilyn. Thank you. Um, so, anyway, so, as far as the steampunk, I also, I had this. I had one 8x8 pad, look, sticker still on there. And... Um, I don't know if you guys saw one of my hauls from Stamps Alive from Terry. She happened to just have this in this stash of stuff. And I'm like, um, I want that. She's like, really? She's like, it's been there forever. I'm like, yes, I know, because I want it. <laughs> so I got that. I have one full 12 by 12 pad. And I think this one I only took open the little ticket, the little sticker, so I can look at it. So I can just sit there and like, ah. Uh, and like, seriously, you guys know how much I love the blues. And you guys would be surprised. I actually, I love steampunk. It's just amazing and you know how i like the vintage look and everything so yeah it's not all you know it's not always shabby chic so i have those in the steampunk um steampunk spells this might baff baffle some people i have this is the butterfly garden by was it jody lee something lee or i don't know somebody i totally forgot who made this but um i know she slaps her name on stuff too i don't know it's by pink paisley it's the butterfly collection I, uh, I have two packs of those. Yeah. And this is just so pretty, like, and the funny thing is I was going to do a project one day, and I took out some sheets, I looked through them, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take out these sheets and make a project. And I have to open up to see which one it is that it belongs to. And I didn't use them. But I have to. I decided, you know what, this year, I have to use it. You know, I have to use the stuff that I have. So I have the two 12 by 12 full complete sets of the Butterfly, Pink Paisley Butterfly Collection. Butterfly Garden, the... So anyway, so here's where, oh, oh, and I think that most of that I have is like Graphic 45, Suprema, but these are these other things that I have, and these, um, I got off of the scrapyard as well, um, and these are these Prima Vintage Trinkets, and I think, and these are by Marion Smith, I freaking love her, met her at CHA, even though I didn't get to go to this one, I'm still crying about that, um, so they're these, and these you can alcohol link as well, but they're just adorable. I haven't even, like, taken them out of the package. And the worst thing is whoever had them, like, found them somewhere on clearance. And you know what? Though she had them for a really good price. I commend some of the people on Scrapyard. They have really good prices. Some of them, it's like they're trying to sell you the gold, uh, the Holy Grail or something like that. So anyway, so yeah, I got a few of those, and I haven't even opened those. Um, those are in there. So yeah, so these are, like I said, the Butterfly Garden. So now the part where you guys are going to laugh is, you guys know I love my London Market. And uh, my Pink Paisley London Market. And it's just, I do because it has the blues, it has the pinks, it has the greens, it has the whatever, everything. Um, and people were shocked that in my last D-stash, I sold a, f uh, a pad of the London Market. Um, 
I actually parted with more than one. I had a few people contact me. The, few, the first few people, and I took all of the messages in order, even though I fell asleep. Um, all of them in order. And after the kid sold, the place and time kid sold, I made, I made like two more, a few more. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to use all of this stuff. You know, okay, these people are interested. They want it. And I sold more than one London market pad. So I shared. But then, of course, later on, more people contacted me. And I, you know, I'm like, okay, I can only share so much. You know, I, I, I love to share, uh, but I love to support myself. So here's where I said you guys are going to laugh. So apart from the two packs of Butterfly Garden is my London Market. So I have one of these pocket protectors. Thinking of Jiggy pocket protector. I don't even know what that is, really. Seriously. Um, and this has my scraps. And this is my scraps. And these are from a swap. Somebody sent me a swap and they, the little baggies had the papers and they're holding the toppers and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to use those for something. I love my, I love my London Market. So anyway, the ironic thing though, I never ever bought, see, because at one point I didn't buy the embellishments, but then afterwards I'm like, I want them, then they don't sell them. If anyone out there has the embellishments, the embellishment pack, and would like to sell them, contact me. I'm not saying money's not an object, but I'm just saying I want it. So anyway, so <laughs> with that aside, so that's the scraps, but this is where you guys are probably going to laugh. I did let go of some, I shared, I mean seriously you guys, I opened up my vault, I opened up my heart to share with people because I know that they've been wanting it and stuff like that, but I'm fortunate enough when I was able to find it, I got like maybe a few, maybe a couple extra packs and I actually have, I still have four complete packs, four complete pads of the London Market 12 by 12 and no, I'm sorry, I cannot, I cannot part with any more of it because projects i got so much i actually at one point i think i had like nine pads nine of the packs yeah it, excessive crazy i know cray cray uh cray to the cray but the thing is i was going to have a tea party a craft tea party with me and a few of my friends here in vegas that we you know we craft and we celebrate each other's birthdays at one of the um lss and I was going to make a few, you know, little things. And we're going to have little projects to do. Um, because not all of them paper craft. But we like, you know, cute stuff. So we're going to have little projects. We're going to have, the you know, the craft room. The, the classes, the classroom set aside. With, you know, with tea and cakes and stuff like that. All that stuff. But I never got around to it. And now I can't decide if I wanted to get the botanical tea for that. You know. Because I still love this. Um, totally love this. So yeah. So that's that's my hard vault, you guys. Um, please don't think I'm nuts. Uh, well, actually, maybe a little cray cray. And I actually am going to use this collection on that note to do uh, P's challenge. P from Whimsical Endeavor, she has a challenge going on. It's called the Horde Vault Challenge. You guys check it out. It's super awesome, and it's a project for yourself. So that's super awesome because we don't always, crafters, we don't always have a chance to do a project for ourselves. So this way, you get to do something for yourselves and enter a challenge. So, anyway, so yes, so on that note, you guys, I will talk to you guys soon and um, have a good day. Bye, everyone.